women who dated older men as teenagers that now realized they were predators, what's your story? He was my guidance counselor. I didn't realize how creepy he was, until he proposed. The whole thing was fucked. I dated and had sex with a 28 year old, when I was 13, and thought, it was perfectly normal. He always complimented me, bought me stuff, and drove me places when I needed a ride. Looking back now, I can't believe, I didn't realize how fucked up that was. To this day he can't find someone to date that's his age, I'm 24 now, from what I heard from rumors. I was 11 and he was 23. We didn't date, he had a girlfriend, but he would sext me and send me nudes. Eventually I realized it was strange, and blocked him. Didn't tell anyone about it. I sometimes wonder, if it's impacted me more, than I would care to admit. 11, I had boobs at 11, and got hit on by a disgustingly high number of grown men. I was 15 with a 21 year old. He hung around youth group, and made all us younger girls feel special with his attention. I was shy and quiet, didn't stand out much, but obviously wanted the special attention that all the prettier, peppier girls got. He wasn't interested, until he found out my mom worked nights, and I was home alone. We ended up getting into a pretty heated argument and split when, two weeks in, I still hadn't let him come over, because I was terrified of what my mom would do, if she knew, I'd had anyone over while she was gone. Male attention is a fucking superpower for girls that age. It's terrible. I was 15 and met a 30 year old who was an older brother of a boy I met in group therapy. He used to tell me, how complicated and mature I was, lol social I cag. I'm now 24, and seeing or interacting with anyone, who is 15 makes me sick. I felt so old then, but it's insane now how obvious to me, that people that age are children. I was 16, a school teacher of 30 years used to touch me, and text me stuff. I didn't really realize, it was bad until some years later, when he married the girl for my class. I didn't tell anyone, because I was scared that people would think, that it was my fault. That exact experience except, he had sex with me two days after I reached the age of consent in my state. I eventually got him fired, mom reported him when I was suicidal, and everyone in the school turned against me, because he was the most popular teachers. It was terrible. I'm sorry, that you had to go through that, and I hope it doesn't affect your life too much now. He texted, that he was standing outside my middle school waiting for me. I broke out in a cold sweat, and I knew, I had made a massive mistake. Edit. Some comments have been asking for details. I hesitate, because it is shameful and I know in my heart it was wrong, and part of it is my not my story to tell. But maybe this can be a cautionary story for other young women. I was going down a bad path when I was 14. I looked up to a friend that lived by her own rules. She did whatever she wanted, and didn't care about consequences. If I wanted to be in with her and her friends, I couldn't be a baby, I had to do grown up things. One day my friend came to me, and casually told me, she had slept with a 19 year old, and over the course of our conversation it came out, that he hadn't choosed a condom, I got her help, I had to lie to do it, but my friend was angry, that the guy wouldn't answer her texts, I told her to give me his number, stupidly thinking I could appeal to him, to apologize and do right by her. I was trying to get him to text her back, and work things out, but the next thing I know he's asking me for my picture, he wants to know if I'm really who I say I am. I should have stopped there, but I sent him the picture. Next thing I know he starts saying, how cute I am, while my friend is reading his texts back to me at the same time. The whole thing is surreal. My friend looks like she ready to blow the whole thing over, and she swears up and down she's not to going to bother about the guy anymore. We let it drop. The guy keeps texting me for the next few days, trying to wiggle me, and I get this awful idea in my head. If I want to stop being treated like a baby I have to do what my friend does right? She doesn't care about rules or boundaries so why should I? And I did something terrible. I flirted back at him. Things started to escalate. He would ask for nude pictures, he sent me graphic videos. 
Then he started planning for us to meet and have sex, always in public places. I was scared, and I knew, I had gone too far, I tried to blow him off. I thought he would lose interest after that, but that was the day when he texted me that he was at my school. A lot of things from those years fill me with shame, but this is the hardest to deal with, because I know, I didn't do right by my friend. No matter what our friendship was like, I should have told the truth and gotten her help even, if it got her in trouble. It took me a long time to realize we were both being preyed upon, and I'm not sure, if my friend ever saw it that way. As a father, the comments scared the shit out of me. My first boyfriend, I was barely 15, he was 21. Worked in a local shop, and all the girls at my school liked him, so came as a bit of a surprise, when the biggest dork ever, me, somehow landed him, and not any of the popular girls. We dated for maybe 4 months, turned out he was sleeping with 3 girls in my year which I found confusing, because I begged him to take my virginity to no avail always found that really weird and insulting, that he never even wanted to sleep with me. Plot twist, my mom had stormed into the shop, when we first started dating and told him, if you take my daughter's virginity, I will kill you with my bare hands. God bless my mom. I was 13 with a 22 year old boyfriend. He made me feel special, grown up, my friends were all jealous, tbh he was hot. A predator, but a solid 10 slash 10, we met on xbox live, those were the days, and started a relationship. I was in my ugly duckling phase, so was drawn into it by the attention. No boys my own age seemed interested in me, I was bullied a bit, and it was nice for a good looking, older boy to think I was pretty. He slowly pressured me into sex, started with pushing me into sexual acts on webcam, to oral, then full sex. He always insisted on filming everything, because, he loved me so much, he wanted to only use our videos as porn, what I wasn't aware of was the fact he was showing all his friends, and they made bets on how quickly he could get me to do something else, whenever I pushed back he always says, if I wanted to date a man, I needed to act like a woman otherwise he would find a girl more willing to have a proper relationship with him. He then tried to pressure me into sleeping with his friends, started with a threesome, him included, then one night he asked me to just sleep with his friend, I saw his friend give him money, which is when I realized this whole thing was a lie, and left. So, I posted this in a thread called, Redditors that have called off their wedding, why? I called off my wedding 3 months before it happened. Why? I was a 17 year old, I'd have been 18 at the time of the wedding, about to marry a 26 year old man, that had been dating me for 3 years. I was a victim about to marry her abuser, the engagement ring, which I did eventually find out was fake, he has money. Lots of it, but that didn't matter to me, was to buy my consent, silence, whatever as he stuck his stick in everything that moved. He was an alcoholic, a narcissist. A pedophile, seriously, I wasn't a 14 year old that looked, like an 18 year old. I was a 14 year old that looked like a 12 year old, I loved him, because I thought he was saving me from my horrid situation with my family. My mom and I moved in with her boyfriend, only to find out too late, that he was an abuser. He'd take me away from it, even if it was just for a little while, I was so messed up. I ended up living in a boarding house, when things finally broke in my abusive household because, of course, I was 17 and he didn't want me to move in until I turned 18, his career depended on a squeaky clean image. I ended up pregnant, having a violent end to my pregnancy that resulted in my daughter's stillbirth. Despite this all, I loved him. But he started picking at my appearance. I was, gaining too much weight, even though I was at a healthy weight for my age, height. I had gotten hips and breasts. So we talked about dieting. I stopped eating. I drank water, when I'd get hungry. Everything had to be low fat, no fat, low calorie, no calorie, and sugar free. It worked. I went from healthy to underweight. What made me realize, that I wanted out was a box of chicken wings. I ended up moving back in with my mother, after she was able to escape her ex. 
We lived near an indoor flea market, farmer's market, that had the most amazing food vendors, I love food, and this diet was killing me. I was fucking miserable. So, I decided to have a cheat day, and I went, and ordered a box of hot wings from the chicken place in the farmer's market. As I sat down with my favorite movie, eating my favorite food, I realized, that the extreme dieting would always be my life. I also realized that he wanting me to be so unhealthy wasn't right, I was tired all the time, cold all the time, hungry all the time. I decided, while happily munching on that box of wings, I was done. I called him, told him that I was done. It took me another 3 years to truly be done, but the very expensive wedding was done and over. He never got any deposits back. It took me almost a decade to realize, that he wanted me to look like a 14 year old forever. I was also always dismissive about the age difference, citing, that I was mature for my age. I now realize it didn't matter. I was a child. Thank you a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.